Hello and welcome to Air Hot Bristol for the next episode of Bristol Sport Kids TV. Now coming up on the show, we let two cheeky chappies loose at the Bristol City Training Ground and we find out about Holly's crazy cycling challenge. All that to look forward to, but first it's time to see how Bristol Flyers Greg Street and Roy Owen got on when they swapped the basketball court for something a little bit different. And if you'd like to have a go, then now's your chance. Air Hot Bristol has given all you Kids TV viewers the chance to win a family bounce pass. All you need to do is email your contact details to kidstv at bristol sportcouk Now, we caught up with Bristol rugby player Mitch Eady and put him to the test in our very own Doodle Challenge. Hello, I'm Mitch Eady, number eight for Bristol rugby, and this is my 30 second Doodle Challenge. Stripped over hair, I've done a big nose, a nice smile, um, big arms, fat belly, and uh, some boots, and that's my 30 second doodle challenge. Well, thanks for that, Mitch, and we want to see your very own doodle challenge pictures, so tweet us at Bristol underscore sport and we'll use the best ones on the next show. Now it's time to hear from a very special little girl. Now Holly was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at just eight years old and she took on a huge challenge to raise money for other sufferers. Her and her dad cycled 400 kilometers from coast to coast. Let's hear her story. My dad has it, so he kind of knew the symptoms. It started when I was in a holiday in a country where he had to buy water and I was drinking just so much and my parents were like, a bit confused so the day we got back the night we got back I went to the hospital and I stayed there overnight and I was diagnosed with diabetes it's made it like life just a bit harder I have to inject or use my pump at every meal and that gets a bit of a hassle sometimes and you just get fed up with it I do get days where I'm just like this is just taking over my life but those are bad days most of the time it's just five minutes of my day that I have to put aside and tell me a bit about this camp that you went on so it was a diabetes camp. In America it's normal to go on like camps because the holiday is like three months long. Um, and it was based on swimming and also cycling. So you swim every morning. And then in the afternoons we do either bike, bicycle related things or someone will come in and talk to us. Someone pretty 
special came in and spoke to you, didn't they? And it kind of changed the way you thought about uh, about things. Yeah. So he was called Sebastian Sassville, and he came in, and he also had type 1 diabetes. And he told us about um, the things that he'd done to raise awareness mostly for diabetes. I just I felt inspired at the moment. I didn't think it would end up like this, but I just kept thinking about him every now and then. And so eventually I talked to my parents. Obviously your, your whole family are really supportive, aren't they? But not just your family, other people outside as well have been, have been yeah. so generous, haven't Everyone's they? Everyone's been amazing. All the money will go to research or helping people go on camps like I did and making the future just better in general for everyone. Now it took them six days and almost 24 hours of cycling but Holly and her dad completed the ride and raised more than £8,000. Now well done Holly and you can still donate by clicking on the link here. Now we sent Cheeky Duo behind the scenes on the Bristol City photo shoot and they got to ask the questions on everyone's lips. Let's find out how they got on. Hi my name's Trey. Hi, my name's Mason, and we're going to be behind the scenes for the Bristol City shoot, photo shoot. He thinks they're good at dancing, but really isn't. Well, I can't be flinty, because he's nine foot five. His legs are too long. <laughs> so I wouldn't say it would be flinty. I think um, Luke Aylin's not bad at dancing. What's your favourite skill? Oh, I've got a lot. Um, I don't know, I just like doing back heels and things like that. <laughs> what goal celebration do you do? Well, we always think of different ones, to be fair. I think the season that we won the league, we had quite a few different ones. Sometimes from the banter that had happened in the week, we'd make something funny up for when we scored a goal. So, yeah, we always try and do a different one. Do you get any sleep in the night when your baby cries? No, none at all. <laughs> Keeps me up all night. No, to be fair, my, um, my partner helps me a lot. She does. She does a lot of the night, the night feeds. How would you say hello in Iceland? Uh, we say it like in English, but we write it different, but we say hi. Why do you wear that bandage on your arm? My home, uh, because before, a long time, I break my, my home. What's it like playing in your hometown? Um, it's the best thing, I think, playing at home. Because all your family can come watch, all your friends. It's quite easy, to be fair. What's it like being manager? It's fantastic, yeah, it's, uh, it's really tough, there's a lot you've got to deal with now with social media and uh, the fans and uh, managing up and making sure the coaching's all good and uh, expectations and everything, recruitment that goes along with that, but I love it, it's in my blood. Um, I think obviously my dad was a manager for 20, or has been and still is for 25 years and, uh, and I love it. I was in the same team as you when you were younger. You played for Ashton Boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was where I that was where I started. So I was sort of playing as you are now with the stadium. Did they still play across the road yeah. from the stadium? Yeah. So that was where I sort of first tried my hand at, at football, really. And um, you know, with the stadium in the background, it was kind of a. I suppose it was a subliminal message, really. That that's where you you know I'm even though I'm at the park. That's, you know, opposite side of the road is, is where I want to end up and, and luckily enough that's, that's what happened. This is the end of our takeover until next time. Well thanks for that Troy and Mason, great job and if you'd like your chance to be one of the KISS TV reporters then head to the Bristol Sport website for all the details. Now that's all we've got time for on Kids TV. Until next time, have a great week on Bristol Sport.